Hi guys, let's take a look at this question. The engineers at a car company conduct various tests on their cars. During one of the tests, they measure the change in position during equal time intervals. The results obtained are recorded in the table below. So we have time in the one column and we have position in the other column. 3.1. Give the correct term for change of position per unit time. That is our average velocity. Just something you got to remember, right? 3.2. For this test that they just conducted here at the top, write down the independent variable and the dependent variable. So where is our independent variable? On the x-axis. And our dependent variable is on the y-axis. So in physics terms, independent variable is the thing that you change. And dependent variable is the thing that changed because of the thing you changed. All right. Okay. So we have the table here. How do we determine what is X and Y? So our first column will always be the X axis and our second column will be the Y axis. So very easy, right? So our independent variable here will then be time and our dependent variable will be position. 3.3. So we got to use the information in our table that was given on and draw it on the answer sheet. Okay. So I'm just going to draw it at the top here. 3.3. So they want an accurate one. So just use a, a type of scale whichever you prefer, right? Just be accurate. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a, a table. They want position and time, right? So remember time is on the X axis and position is on the Y axis. Please, please write the measurement in brackets. That's what they're looking for. And please write it out, so position and M. And this is our zero. So you can just write one, two, three, four. And then you can count in intervals of five, five, 10, 15, 20, right? Because if you take a look at here, you can see it's it's perfect position and a perfect scale. All right. So for zero, we are at zero. So you draw your dot. For one, we are at five, another dot. Two, we are at 10, another dot. Just make it straight, right? Because it is constant. Three is at 15 and four is at 20. Do you see we have a straight line? Oh, sorry for my line, but it's a straight line, right? So you would get five marks for that. You have to have your labels and your measurement and your graph has, to, you have to draw the line, right? And please use a ruler. I'm, I don't have a ruler, sorry, but that's it. Okay, 3.4, calculate the gradient of the graph. This is where your math skills come in, right? So, so you have to start with your formula, please guys. Gradient formula is y over x. Choose any point on the graph. Okay, so you say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, All right? You choose any two points on the graph, All right? So let's go, let's choose this point and let's choose this point for fun. All right, so then I'm gonna continue the calculation on this side, guys, sorry about that. So we have our y is 20 and our x is four and then minus our second y is five and our second x is one. And then our gradient is five, okay? All right, 3.5, draw not to scale a corresponding velocity time graph for the motion of the car, label the axis. So when they say not to scale, they don't want you to put any numbers, they don't want you to connect any dots, they just want a graph to see whether you can actually understand what's a velocity time graph. So very easy to draw, 3.5 at the top here. You just draw a basic graph and your time is still your x-axis, please don't forget your measurement, and your velocity, the velocity measurement is meters per second. And very important is they want to see whether you know what's happening with the velocity here. If we look at this graph, do we see that it's a straight line graph and it's increasing constantly, right? So our velocity is constant, right? So that's all we do, constant velocity, and we can do that. So that's how you would draw a constant velocity graph. 3.6, hence. So hence mean, oh, there's something in 3.5 that we're going to use in 3.6. So deduce the magnitude. When they say magnitude, they don't want um, a measurement, but you can add if you want to, of the acceleration of the car. All right, so if our velocity is constant, if velocity is constant, what does that mean for acceleration? Acceleration is zero zero guys you can either write out the word zero or you can say zero meters per second squared but they don't want they just want the magnitude so they would accept zero as correct 
All right. So just quick theory behind that. If your car is traveling at constant velocity, it's not decreasing its speed and it's not increasing its speed. So speed acceleration, it doesn't accelerate nothing. It's just zero, guys. Okay. And that's it for this question. See ya.